Hello and welcome back to another discussion on Slint UI for our Rust application. In this video, we'll work with layouts to build interactive UI in an ongoing effort where we discuss different components of Slint UI before diving in and building a full-fledged Rust Slint UI application. So without further ado, let's dive into it and let's start. Now there are tons of different videos popping on your right top where we have covered different components related to Slint UI. Now this might be one of those series where we, you know, dismantle different components of Slint UI in separate videos to understand or build at least some understanding of those different features or components of Slint UI before we finally build our application then serve on different platform. So let's start. There are very few things related to UI for Slint UI which we want to cover separately and this might be one of those last before we finally dive in and build full-fledged applications. So make sure you stick around and watch till the end. So today in this video our focus is on layout. First of all let's look at this messed up component with a text, line edit and a button element which are really messed up if you look at the preview. So that's where layout comes into play. So layout define how elements in this case like text, line edit and button are arranged and sized within your user interface to make it more responsive and you know visually consistent across your devices. So you don't want to build something which looks like this or you end up adding some you know padding and incons inconsistent uh, you know faces but then at the end of the day when you really want to uh, you know work with it on different devices it just messes up. So that's where the layout comes into play and let's look at the first layout for the day which is vertical layout so let's wrap it and as you can see as soon as we lap now the ui looks more better now we have a username as a text a line edit where we can now easily edit and then a submit button which we can press to submit now this still requires some styling but at least it's consistent across the devices and is responsive so even though if you can see I reduce or increase the display, it's still consistent. Now similarly, as we all know, there is a vertical and then we have horizontal. So you just wrap it in a horizontal and now the whole layout turns horizontal. So at times we may need horizontal layout, at times we work with vertical layouts, you know, depending on our requirements. But yes, the point of showing this is Slint supports both kinds of layout where you have a vertical layout a horizontal layout and you can pretty much work with it another reason to use layouts is to have consistent styling across your elements so let's say i want to set padding for all of these elements then i can just simply add padding as 10px and boom as you can see the padding for all these are now is consistent similarly i just want to add padding bottom now the padding bottom is consistent for all across the devices as well so anything you want to change for css try to use layouts to make it more consistent for your components and similarly we have the og grid layout now we have an element text line edit text line edit and a button and you can see this is more consistent to how you see your login forms across different applications but let's make it more better uh, looking so what we can do is first of all we want to add some spacing so let's say 8px and as you can see now it looks far better but still there is some padding required so let's add some padding as maybe 16px boom as you can see it looks pretty clean and consistent and you don't have to go for each component and add separate styling so that's where great layout help so that's it for this video guys uh, now i want you guys to explore these layouts on your end and let me know in the comments what do you think hopefully in the next video we'll build some platform application which then we can you know use some rust part as well as it's already enough of the you know basics for slint ui that we can use to build application and then learn along the way so i'll catch you guys in the next video